How dare you, Jim Shark? How can you do a thing like this? Are you serious? Did you just use a chubby person to advertise your brand? Oh my goodness. We expected more from you. Are you serious? I cannot believe this. How dare you? How dare you, Jim Shark? Hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So from the title of this video, I know you know what we're about to talk about. So we're going to be talking about the Gymshark controversy. All right, so a few days ago, Gymshark posted a photo of a lady called Nelly London on their Instagram page where she's wearing their, one of their Gymshark uh, collections and they had a very beautiful caption you know about body positivity and it just very beautiful post all together i i saw that post i liked it and i just moved on the next day i you know i saw online controversy and like i saw the photos like i saw this photo on instagram like what is wrong so i went back to their instagram handle and i started reading comments and guys you will not believe what I saw people were like how dare you how dare you Gymshark a fitness brand that you're supposed to be supporting people to live healthy lifestyle and I was just thinking so you I'm talking to you people that sit down at home pick up their phone on the laptop computers or whatever gadgets you use you sit down in your house and you type this hate this hateful extremely hateful comment to a lady that you do not know you never met you do not know her story you do not know what is going on in her life and that's not even the most annoying part the most annoying part for me when i looked at these comments they had like 900 and something likes and I'm thinking to myself, so 900 and something people really think that this nasty comment is so nice and it makes sense that someone is bullying another person, a person you do not know, you have no clue what's going on with her. I'm going to read you some of the comments from, that I screenshot from Gymshark Instagram page. You can check it out, it's still there. Right, I will be putting up photos of the model and some of the comments. So, let's go. I will not say the names of these nasty people because they don't deserve it, okay? So, someone nasty wrote, It's sad to see that a healthy company is promoting unhealthy habits. Now, guys, I don't just get it. I will leave you a photo here so you be the judge. What is unhealthy about this photo? What is unhealthy for someone that is struggling with eating disorder to be proud to upload a photo on Instagram or any of the social media platform trying to, to encourage other people to love themselves the way they are and this comment here has 954 likes i repeat this nasty comment has 954 likes i'll go back and i'll read you another nasty and stupid brainless comment someone wrote here guys it's not normal we have to fight back this unhealthy trend i don't get it what is unhealthy you just look at someone and you think the person is unhealthy because the person looks sad in way because the person looks different from you and how am i even sure that you you look better than this person most of you just hide behind your phone 
and you type this bullshit. I'll read you another comment. Let's keep going. So you be the judge. And here, someone wrote, this ain't it. Really? That's what you think? Because people are photoshopping their Instagram pictures, making themselves to look the way they do not look if you see them on the road on a normal day. There are so many people that you see on Instagram, when you see them in real life, you cannot even recognize that they are the same person. That's what you people like. That is what you people appreciate. Fake life. Read something else. Let's keep going. And another nasty person wrote, won't buy any more products from this fat shack after this post on follow fat shack just because they uploaded a photo of someone that is extremely beautiful she is beautiful she looks good she's confident she loves herself you won't buy any more products because you prefer the other type of photos they upload. So many people go through surgeries. Some people, they pop things. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. Just to look a certain way. People do surgery and they die in the process just because they wanna have six pack, flat stomachs, uh, snatched in waist, and things like that. The fake life is what most of you like. And my question to you people out there is, what do you want? What do you really want? If someone is skinny, oh my goodness, you look like you're going to die. Oh my God, are you sick? Have you eaten today? Oh my goodness, how come you look like this? You're so ugly, you're straight like a tree. I am talking from experience. I have been skinny shamed all my life and that is actually a topic for another day if you want me to talk about that leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will do another video for that I have been skinny shamed for all my life so when I see people being fat shamed I ask the question what do you people want how dare you Jim Shark you upload a, a, a photo on Instagram of a fat model this person does not represent fitness what is fitness? Those fake ass people that post photos that are completely edited, photoshopped and whatever app you people use to do those bullshit that you people do. Those are the real uh, fitness people. Those people with the fake ass muscles. They are the real fitness people. They are the, they are the only ones that all the fitness brand in the world should use to advertise their products. Can you hear yourself? Sometimes I just, people don't even think before they say things. People don't think. You fat shame an innocent person that she's unhealthy. How do you know? How do you know that she's unhealthy? Because she has some fat in her midsection. That means she's unhealthy. And at the same time, you see skinny people and you look at them like, oh my goodness, this person is going to die soon. Just as I was told that I'm too skinny. What is this? How come you look like this? Can people just try to be kind? It doesn't cost you anything to be kind. It doesn't cost you anything to put a nice comment on someone's post. If you, if you don't have anything to say, just keep quiet and move on. You don't have to comment on everything. You don't, you don't even have to like the brand. I guess the owner of Gymshack, he knows what his target is. He knows what he's supporting. He knows what he likes. He knows what the kind of people he wants to empower. How is that your business? Okay, when you have your own brand, do not put such people on your platform that is fine but for you to go and put such comments on someone else's post that you have no business doing it's tacky it's nasty 
And let me tell you something. People like you, someday, you will pay for all these things you're doing. Nobody will go unpunished. I am going to stop talking right here and I'm gonna leave you guys to be the judge. All right? And I'm out. Till next time, when we have a chit chat or a rant, see you then, for now, I'm out.